Hi everyone, so I can't believe it is nearly the end of the year, it's just flown by. Um, I've had some really, really bad things happen to me this year alongside some really, really good things and I'm really, really happy right now and um, I hope you all are as well. And the first thing I think I would just want to say before I start listing the products and talking about the format of these videos is that um, I made a video like this this time last year and I look at my channel now and my subscribers now and it is so much bigger and so much more amazing and I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you your support means the absolute world to me and I'm really really thankful that you tune in all the time and are still interested in what I want to say and you're just the nicest 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 subscribers ever ever what is the matter with me ever <laughs> And I love you all, and um, I hope you'll have a fab year. So I'm going to get on to my top products of 2011. Um, the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to separate these into categories. So we'll have body care, um, makeup and fragrance in one, and then hair care in another, I think, because I just think it's better to do it that way, otherwise it ends up being like a long list of products. So I'm going to do it that way. And I'm going to start with body care. Um, let's start with shower items, I think, yeah. So, my winner, winner shower gel for this year is the Boots Botanic Softening Body Wash, which looks like this. This is the nicest, nicest shower gel. It smells amazing and it is extremely, extremely softening. It makes your skin feel so soft and lovely and just amazing. And, um... I'm not sure how much this costs, it's pretty inexpensive I think. It lasts a really long time, I've had it for ages and it really, really, really makes your skin super, super soft and it's really kind of moisturising but in a very silky, thick way, it's a very thick consistency. But this is my winner for Best Shower Gel of 2010. The two runner-ups are um, the Original Source Chocolate and Mint shower gel now my boyfriend loves this and I wasn't the biggest fan to begin with but I really do like it now and it smells like after eight chocolate that's all I can say if you're a chocolate lover you'll like this and what I like about it is that it's the scent doesn't cling to your skin you don't end up smelling like chocolate all day because I don't really like that and um it's just a lovely lovely product so we've got that one and then also we've got the body shop spiced pumpkin shower gel probably like move my hair or something. The Body Shop Spice Pumpkin Shower Gel, which is really, really lovely. It's got a really unusual scent, very, very Christmassy, in fact, if I could open it. It was limited edition for Halloween. I can't open it. Never mind. It was limited edition for Halloween, and um, it's just a really, really, really nice shower gel. Foams up really nicely, and the smell is really, really lovely. I also like the Body Shop Peach one, but um, I like this one better. Then, um, another kind of bath product, I suppose, we have the Soap and Glory Breakfast Scrub. I love this body scrub. It's really, really nice. It smells amazing. It smells like crunchies and maple syrup. And um, it leaves your skin feeling really, really soft. It's very good for dry skin because the grains aren't massive. And it's just really, really nice. Available at Boots. Decent price and you get quite a lot in there. And um, the packaging's pretty as well. So that's Body Scrub of 2011. Um, what shall we do now? Let's do moisturisers. So I have got, is it four? No, three picks here. The first one is the Boots Botanics Lightly Hydrating and Skin Softening um, Moisturising Body Balm with Ginseng and Cocoa Butter. And this is what it looks like. And this is a really, really, really nice um, daytime body lotion. I use body lotion during the day as well, not just at night, because I just feel like it makes my skin feel so much nicer. And this has got a very fresh scent. It feels very thick, but it sinks into your skin instantly. And it just really, 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 it's a really, really nice product. So I love that. And it wasn't something I would have chosen for myself, but it is really, really nice. I've got given it as a gift, and I'm really glad because it was lovely. Then my all-time love, and you know how much I love these, the Body Shop Body, Sh Body Butters. This is the almond one, and I love these. Nothing makes your skin feel as smooth and as soft as these. They're absolutely incredible. And then we have the Garnier Body Tonic, which is 
their firming hydrating lotion and this is just a nice kind of daytime one as well it's nice to mix in with a little bit of fake tan which I'll talk about in a minute and it's just a really really nice kind of gel like consistency almost it's a really really lovely product and I really like this one then um, I also want to include bio oil I use bio oil on my chest and on any stretch marks and it does kind of help even them out but it's not just that it makes your skin feel so soft and intensely hydrated so bio oil is a very 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 precious product then um, Oh, one more body product actually, which is an oil. It's the number seven pampering dry oil body spray. I absolutely adore this. Can't live without this. It's amazing. If you're being a bit lazy, you can't be bothered, you just spritz it on on damp skin. It makes your skin feel so silky and it's just really, really, really lovely and it lasts forever because of the pump action. Then moving on to tanning, I've chosen three of my top tanning products. We've got the Garnier Summer Body Moisturising Lotion for Sunkissed Look. Um, the Gradual Tanner, this is my favourite Gradual Tanner, it lasts forever. Gives a good colour even if you've got darker, a darker complexion like I have. It gives a really good colour and it's just a really, really nice product. And then we have the Sam Moritz Instant Self Tanning Lotion and the Sam Moritz Mousse. I love both of these equally but... Um, this is nice to mix with things or if your skin's a bit drier and this just gives more of an intense colour but these are my top tanning products. And for hair removal I have chosen my little feet wax strips, these are my top hair removal of the year um, products because they're just a great size, great for your bikini area or anywhere like that. This is what they look like, it's just a strip that you warm up between your hands, place and pull really inexpensive, work amazingly well, long lasting results and they're really really great. So I hope you enjoyed this, um, I will do my kind of other beauty, uh, beauty video kind of 2011 top products really, I got a bit confused there, but um, yeah let me know what your top body products are for this year and if there's anything that you would like to try in the next year let me know as well. I think I really want to try the Kiehl's Creme de Crops um, body lotion and I want to try the Elle McPherson body scrub. It's the purple one, I can't think what it's called but it's the Elle McPherson body scrub and um, that's all I can think of really. But I'm now going to film my top facial skincare of the year and I hope you all enjoy this and have a great day and I will see you all soon. Bye bye.